Hello and welcome back. In this video we're going to have a look at how to backup and then restore the boot files. Okay, basically all we need to do is open up the PowerShell as an admin would be advisable. How do we do that? Basically we go here and then type in PowerShell. Okay, and then run as administrator. Okay, you'll get a little prompt. Click yes. Okay. Now we get this window open, you can resize it, okay. What we need to do is just type bcd edit forward slash export and then any location where you want to save it, okay, and the name of the file you want to save it as. Okay, so we've just basically saved it to the root of C uh, and we've given a name backup boot files. And that's done. If you need to restore them, okay, all you need to do is the reverse import and then the name of the file that you had backed up okay basically if we go here and we go to the c drive you'll see it has created that backup of our boot files and if we restore it you just use the import that now obviously when you are restoring it you'd probably be restoring it outside of this windows then you might be basically restoring it from your repair disk or from basically the windows dvd we'll show you quickly how to do that and what we're going to do is restart and restart into the repair console okay Okay, so we've restarted the computer using our Windows 10 DVD. You could do it either using a DVD or on the USB. Okay, basically you get to the screen, click next, and then repair your computer. And then basically you're going to do troubleshoot. Okay, advanced options. Okay, command prompt. Okay. Now, no. There we go. Okay, so basically, you'll have to find out which is your drive, okay, where you save that backup boot file. Okay, so then what you do, we're now in the drive where we have it. So all we need to do is type in bcd edit forward slash import and then the name of that file and it basically restores it and then hopefully when you restart your computer okay turn off your PC and then restart it hopefully everything should be back to normal with your computer hopefully this helped thank you for watching